This is giving screen door. This looks like what you would put on your front door to keep the mosquitoes out. Girl, it's giving James Charles Casper Cast crackhead wig. No, ma'am. This wig is definitely a chop. The details is, baby, you're getting clocked. This is kind of giving Caitlyn Jenner. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's the mother tea, everybody? Now, I know it's not Mistress Mondays, but I want to thank each and every one of you for even clicking on this foolishness. Baby, I am so excited I can hardly contain myself. I, I'm i on the brink of, like, the edge of glory. The time has come. This has been years in the making. I finally can say it. I finally can let y'all in on what exactly I've been working on for, oh my god, it seems like an eternity. And you know what? I'm going to just put it out there. I'm sure y'all have gathered by now. I've name dropped it a couple times here and there on the pit stops, on my other videos. It's finally here, bitch. My wig line has finally come to fruition. Go check it out right now, Wigstress.com. The best wigs on the market. I said what I said. And you know what? If you're nosy and you're just like me and you believe that seeing is believing, today, we're gonna not only showcase the wigs, but we're gonna put them to the test. I'm gonna take some Amazon wigs, some beauty supply store wigs, all the other regular degular synthetic wigs, and I'm gonna show you exactly why Wigstress wigs are the best luxury synthetic wigs on the market. Baby, you'll never find anything else like this, and I believe that seeing is believing. So you know what? Let's put it to the test, clock that tea, and let me introduce you to Wigstress Wigs, the best wigs on the market. Show them. Introducing Wigstress's inaugural collection, a fusion of luxury and innovation meticulously designed to redefine luxury in the world of synthetic wigs. Our debut lineup showcases eight custom blended colors and two cap sizes, ensuring a perfect fit and endless styling possibilities for every wear. Each wig is crafted with precision to enhance realism, featuring dimensional colors that exude opulence and elevates your look. Each color features three different custom blended shades, creating the perfect balance of highlights and lowlights that ensure all eyes are on you. Our signature style boasts the perfect curl pattern and link suit for any hairstyle, offering effortless versatility straight out of the box. We've tailored two different cap sizes to guarantee the comfort and coverage for all head sizes. Both standard and plus size caps have full coverage and extended hairlines to ensure your Wigstress wig has a fit like no other. One of the most exciting features of our product is our one-of-a-kind transparent HD lace. It's nearly invisible to the naked eye. The lace on each of our wigs is typically what you would find in a fully customized hand ventilated wig. This is unheard of for any readily available synthetic wig on the market making Wigstress one of the only places to get the best of the best. These luxury wigs have double the amount of hair that you'd find in a regular wig to help achieve any hairstyle you have in mind and to ensure wefts stay hidden. Our wigs are crafted from high quality, heat safe synthetic hair fiber and we prioritize excellence in both material selection and craftsmanship to ensure that our product meets the highest standards of quality and durability. This commitment to excellence allows us to provide our customers with wigs that not only look stunning but also maintain their integrity over time, delivering a consistently exceptional experience each and every time. If you're a wig wearer and you want the best of the best, go check out wigstress.com. Like I said, I really truly cannot believe this day is here. Y'all have no idea how much time, money, and energy I have spent on this project. Everything about the wig is fully customized and so like meticulously thought out. Even from creating the colors and curating everything has been such a journey. A very, very long journey. But you know what? I am so pleased and I'm so confident in what I'm giving y'all. It is the best product on the market. Just to give y'all a little backstory, a little history lesson. I don't want to bore y'all, but let, let's just jump right into it because I know most people are gonna be like, girl, a wig line, like what, what is this really giving? Y'all know I'm known for the big Texas sized hair. Baby, it is reaching the ceiling, it is scraping the top, it is always bigger and larger than life. I mean, everything's bigger in Texas. I'm known for wearing these big wigs, but also blending my real hair into it because I can never find the proper lace front or the proper wig that meets all the requirements of what I want out of a wig. Typically, it has to be a personalized, customized, custom ventilated, custom hairline lace front wig. That's kind of where the journey of me even making wigs began because I always wanted to be the best in my drag. I want to be unique. I want it to be custom. And you have to do that on a budget. And that's kind of hard when you're like a regular drag queen. Like for instance, Instance, this very wig. All the colors on this wig, I used to go in and hand sew all the tracks to make something like this that you really couldn't find in a store. That's kind of where the love and inspiration came when I was creating Wigstress. There really is no luxury synthetic wig brand. There's no wig brand for drag queens that are like, these are the top of the line, the best on the market you could buy right here, right now. I think that more so goes into when you're buying human hair wigs. But for drag especially, synthetic is low key where it's at because you can throw it in the back, you can pull it out, it looks good. If you have a styled wig, it'll 
it'll maintain that shape as long as you take care of it. When I was creating Winterest, I wanted to make sure it was a product unlike any other. I wanted it to be just, like I said, the best of the best luxury wigs because if I'm gonna attach my name to something, it's gonna be the best of the best. Before I was on Drag Race and this international superstar, I was a wig maker for all the girls. If you were that girl, you wore a wigs by Mistress. I mean, in the pageants, I was doing the big updos that were like the NASCAR race car track, one, two, with a swoop and a swirl and a boom and a clap. I was the one making those pageant updos. If you wore big hair, you had a wigs by Mistress. If you had something funky and crazy, you had a wigs by Mistress. I had kind of started to focus more on my wig business as opposed to doing drag. I love creating and as much as I love doing for Mistress, I kind of got more enjoyment from watching my creation on other people. When I was going to Drag Race, I remember I saved up like a substantial amount of money to me. I had like 80 custom wig orders because I was knocking out all the styles and trying to fund all my package for Drag Race. I will never ever forget, I did as many wigs as I could till the absolute last minute that I left. I went from like 80 custom orders and I got it down to like five custom wig orders at the end. And right before I got on that plane to LA, I refunded everyone and I was like, look, I can't do your wig. I can't talk about it, but just know it'll come back around. I did all my hair for my Drag Race package, and actually, even when I was on set filming Drag Race, I was doing hair for some of the girls. I even did some hair for Lucy Laduca on set, and I'll never forget, Rue came into the workroom and was like, who did this hair, it's beautiful. And I was like, oh, So you know what, with that being said, Wigstress is Mama Rue approved. Uh, Fuck that tea. To be here sharing this moment with y'all means so much to me, and yeah, I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope for the best, but honestly, you'll be lucky to have a Wigstress wig. Clock that T. We have eight different custom colors. They're so beautiful. Each wig has three different colors that help create the perfect blend. The perfect luxury, mwah, elevated, opulent, blinding, mesmerizing. So many words can be used to describe the color palette, but honestly, I wanted them to be unique. I wanted it to be something you really wouldn't find elsewhere. The best of the best and I wanted them to cater not only to drag queens, for wig wearers of all types, whether you're a he, she, we, they, them, vegan, vegetarian, non-binary, whatever you are, drag queen, cosplayer, TikTok, beauty queen, a everyday girl, everyone can wear wig strips. These wigs are for everyone and that's the beauty of them. They literally can be used in so many ways. They can be worn every day, they can be worn for special events, they can be teased to the gods to be a beautiful drag wig. It's the perfect length, the perfect cut, the perfect volume, the wig is Chef's kiss. And like I said, I know it's so easy to sit here and yap and be like, oh, I have the best of the best. Oh, no, no, baby, we're about to put it to the test. I'm gonna really show you. The volume in it has double the volume of any other wig. A lot of people like to throw around the word density. Oh, it's 200% density, it's 300% density. We're not here to give no foolish specifications, no X, Y percentage, baby. The wig has double the hair of your standard synthetic wig. The density in the wig helps you hide the weft when you're doing styling. And you know, for all my girls who have to flip their hair and act a fool, it'll be great for making sure that none of your hair is showing your real hair. But honestly, when you're wearing the wig, you're gonna think it's your real hair. I wanted to make sure that Wigstress was catering to everyone, every wig wearer. All my big headed hoes out there, you're gonna love this, trust me. We have the standard wigs, which fits the average head. If you're a regular wig wearer, the regular wig cap size. Or we have plus, which will cater more to our big head friendly girls. Baby, trust me, the wig will fit. My favorite part is the lace is extended. We have extended sideburn coverage, which is so, so, so beautiful. We designed the wigs to fully fit and accommodate everyone's hairline. When you wear the wig, all you have to do Pull the part out that's too long on you and cut it off. So simple, so easy. It's accessible and works for everybody. And while we're on the topic of the lace, a lot of you girls out there walk around looking like you're wearing a screen door on your forehead. We're done with the dark brown lace. This wig, the lace, I'm telling you, is chef's kiss. I've been wearing the wigs for a lot of different projects and the lace is so invisible on film, at live shows. It is absolutely amazing. It is true thin HD lace. This is the true invisible HD lace. No product, no filter, no nothing. This is the lace, and as you can see, baby, she is damn near invisible. This is like a high quality camera. Baby, zoom, clock that T, baby. Y'all know y'all do not see any lace, baby. I mean, girl. Y'all bitches could never. This is not giving screen door. This is giving luxury, high quality, unclockable, bitch. Now clock that T. Wigstress wigs are the best of the best luxury quality synthetic wigs. Just know if you wear a Wigstress wig, you have to take care of the lace and you have to baby it. And it is a little bit different than your traditional lace because it is so thin in HD. You need to leave a little bit of extra lace, especially around the bottoms of it, where you're gonna be pulling and gluing a lot because this kind of lace is so thin and delicate that it does fray a little bit, which is normal for HD lace. So you know what, enough yapping. If you don't like what you see, then what are you looking for? Baby, Wigstress wigs, like I said, the best luxury quality synthetic wigs on the market. You're not gonna regret getting one 
about it. And if you do come see me, we're gonna talk about it, okay? I can show you better than I can tell you. Bring out the first victim, and I'm gonna show you exactly why wigs or swigs are the best, honey. Okay, so we have our first victim. Now this wig, first of all, before I start the shredding, let me give my disclaimer, baby, all the wigs I'm about to show you today, this is not to hate on the other girls. I've worn all types of wigs in drag and as my career as a wig stylist, you can turn nothing into something. You can still make the cheap options, the beauty supply store options work for you, but if you're someone who wants the best of the best, you're gonna get a wig stress wig. So this is one of my favorite wig colors back here, Inferno. So try not to let her distract you too much. But let's get into our first victim. So this wig we have here is a beauty supply store wig. I'm not gonna name drop the brand, but uh, now this actual, not standard, because honestly, this is kind of like the better quality of the beauty supply store wig. You have kind of a softer lace. It's a very dark brown lace. While I'm going through this, I'm gonna give you what the differences between my wig and this wig is. This is a very, very dense hairline. Now, I use the word hairline very, very loosely because this might as well be a hard front wig. There's no type of detailing here. You have these random little baby hairs, which at this point might as well be adult hairs. And baby, this is similar to a screen door. This looks like what you would put on your front door to keep the mosquitoes out, okay? This lace is obviously dyed like a very, very dark tan. And this wig would not be suitable for every wig wearer. I mean, if you have really light skin, this is gonna show up and be really crazy looking. Very, very clockable. That's not gonna blend in with most skin tones. That looks the absolute fool. This is given screen door. This is given crackhead wig, no ma'am. This kind of wig can only be parted in the middle. You can't do really anything with it. You wear it as it comes. This is what it is. This is what it's gonna be. This wig is definitely a chop. She looks the fool as far as it comes to the details. There is no details. <laughs> no, literally, there is no details. The details is, baby, you're getting clocked. This is one step above Party City. This, compared to my wig, the lace on the Wixtress wig is transparent. It's gonna blend in with any skin tone. It's gonna do what the point of a lace is. It's gonna blend in and become unclockable to the natural eye. This wig barely fits on this wig head. This is a 23-inch wig head. The standard head size is anywhere from like 21 to 22. This really is not covering anyone's hairline. This looks the absolute fool. You would have all this showing. Your sideburns will be out. It's a chop. Now, the one thing I will give her is she is very full for a beauty spice store wig. As you can see, we pick her up and baby, it's like you can see me right through the bottom of her. This, you'll get a wear or two out of her and then it's a chop. There really is no dimension. It's giving very shiny synthetic chop. You know what? I'm so disgusted with this wig. She doesn't even deserve to be in my presence. Get her the f out of here. So now for victim number two, I mean wig number two, this is your standard Amazon wig. So if you looked up like an everyday wig, if you looked up for a regular synthetic lace front wig, this is kind of what you can be expecting to get. Now the problem with buying from places like Amazon is the wig quality is never going to be consistent. I'm looking at this wig. This is the kind of wig you'd wear for everyday use. It's not going to be the most dense. The hairline and lace on this wig is a step up from the first beauty supply store wig. It's not really transparent because it's not invisible. Bitch, it's going to be a little bit harder to work around. So as you can see, she kind of blends in. She does her little one too. This is a, a much softer lace than the first one. However, she still is a bit visible. It can still work. It's usable. But I don't know about y'all, when I'm wearing a wig and when I'm trying to give the illusion of it growing out of my scalp, I'm not trying to go for usable. I want something that's gonna be exactly where I need it to be, which is unclockable. This wig does have a little bit more detailing than the first one, but it's still very clockable. And this lace is not gonna work for all skin tones. This wig, it's a chop too. If you were to part this wig, you're gonna see nothing but tracks and it's gonna look foolish unless you keep it on the part it's designated for. The density is the absolute fool. This is kind of giving Caitlyn Jenner, mm -mm -mm -mm. it is giving stringy, ratty. Even as Eleanor, baby, this wig is not suitable for Eleanor. The Eleanor Charles wig is a little bit thicker, okay? The way it tangles when you run your fingers through it, unacceptable. It's not really blended like the Wixtress wigs are. As you can see, it's kind of like piano keyed in with the wefting. It's not giving any realism. It's giving very much so foolish. This wig is an absolute chop. Bye wig. Next victim. Okay, I'm looking at this wig. I'm gonna be honest. This is not an Amazon wig. It's not a beauty supply store wig. I don't wanna say where I got her from, but any other store that sells drag wigs, this is like the standard lace front you would get if you Google drag queen synthetic wig. As you can see, the fibers, especially when you have this kind of curl pattern, it frizzes up a lot. It's very hard to maintain this kind of curl. The wig is not too thin, it's not too thick. It's kind of, you know, an average density. The hairline is definitely a step up from the first two. The lace on this wig is very average. Girl, it's given James, Charles, Casper, Cass. It's not that bad, but it's definitely not invisible and unclockable. 
This is what I would expect if I were to purchase a synthetic wig online. It's giving very round. I don't want to say it's giving RuPaul. I'm not going to say it's giving you, mother. But you are known to really enjoy those types of hairlines. For my hairlines, I don't want to be giving round eggheads. I want to be giving widow's peak. I want it to be HD. The girls like to say pluck. No, baby. I want there to be lots of dimension in the hairline. I would say she has a little bit more detailing. She has a little bit of gaps in between, which is what you're looking for. You don't want it to be solid and like a hard front wig. But there is no detailing in the hairline. And this is not the best quality lace. going to blend in and look nice from stage. But when you're doing high quality photo shoots and other things like that, this is going to need to be edited out. This is not going to be unclockable. It's not going to look invisible to the eye. For your everyday standard drag queen, we could just squint our eyes and hope for the best. If I had no access to the luxury wigs that are wigstress, this will kind of be what I would be going for. She's not too thin. She's definitely not as thick as a wigstress wig. And I definitely would need about two of these at least to do any style for me. For instance, oh my God, I feel so bad. I'm not trying to shade her. This wig is not dense enough to even be able to hide the weft without any styling. There really is no density or volume to this hair. If a, even a gust of wind, if someone bats their eyelashes too much and this shit shows, it's a chop. If a wig is not even thick enough to hide the wefting, it, it really is a mess. Miss Pac-Man, I'm sorry. You were the third victim and you definitely have to go. So with that being said, get rid of all this shit and bring me the Supreme. Bring me the ultimate Wixers wig right now. So now that we've ran through our victims and completely shredded them and gave a little bit of compliments here and there, it's time to get into the Wixers wigs, honey. This is one of my favorite colors from the release. Her name is Luxury. She is the perfect platinum blonde with honey brown low lights. I mean, baby. You see me wear this in the infamous Dress to Impress Roblox video. I mean, the lace, invisible, the hair, beautiful and so dense all the way down to the very bottom. This is a versatile wig that will look good on anyone for whatever you're using it for, drag, cosplay, everyday wear. This is the wig. Now, let's get into the lace, let's get into the hairline, and let me show you the difference between this wig and all the other wigs we just seen. Every Wixtress wig has true invisible HD lace, and like I was saying, this lace needs to be maintained. This is a luxury product. This is the best of the best and sometimes with the best comes a little bit more maintenance now it's nothing extreme nothing out of the ordinary if you're an everyday wig wear if you're a normal wig wear then you're gonna be used to what i'm saying after everywhere clean the lace and if you're a lazy bitch you can go one two three it's not gonna have the same effect if you want it to be truly invisible and truly blend in each and every time in the words of pennywise i mean bianca del rio clean your mother lace now if you want her to lay down you have to clean her you have to take care of her make sure you're taking all the normal precautions when using a wig with true HD lace. As you see on the very ends, it does fray when you first get it. That's just from the process of them doing the wigs and cutting it. Once you actually cut the lace of the wig, it's gonna be nice and fresh. It won't have all these frayed ends. Once it's cut straight across, the more you wear it and the more you're cleaning it with a toothbrush and alcohol to maintain the lace, the more it's gonna fray again. That's why you wanna leave a little bit of length on the lace because obviously as you wear it more, as you clean it more, the lace is gonna continue to fray. And you know, you just wanna make sure you get as much wear as you can out of your wig. For some people, if you're using it for everyday wear, obviously it'll be more beneficial to you to cut the lace all the way back. Even if you cut it all the way back, it's not gonna start fraying right away. It's not gonna be unusable within a month or two. This will still last you a long time as long as you take care of it. However, because of the nature of the HD lace, I do recommend leaving a little bit more, especially in the areas where you're gonna be gluing it. Even if you have the lace pretty long, it's still gonna be invisible to the naked eye. It's better to leave more lace, that way you can extend the longevity of the wig, and of course get the most bang for your buck. And while while on the subject of the lace, we have a little bit of the extended sideburn coverage. And as you can see, it covers all the way around the hairline. That's a lot of detailing. It has a slight widow's peak and it just looks much more realistic than any of the other wigs. Now, the beauty of the way the wig was designed was you could free part it, middle part, side part, whatever you want to do. It has enough lace to accommodate your basic styling needs. But I wanted you to be able to use the wig multiple ways, multiple times for multiple different things. Middle part is going to look a bit more brown, have a little bit more of a low light showing. When you do a slick back all the way, it's going to look more blue. Lawn. I mean, baby. The dimension in the color, amazing. The density, amazing. If you've ever seen me in drag, if you know Mistress, baby, you know the hair is touching the ceiling. And normally I have to put so many wigs together. Baby, I am known for wearing three, four, five wigs. I will wear a ponytail wig with nine different drawstring ponytails sewn together to get my hair this big. And honestly, I'm smiling ear to ear because the days of doing that is over. Baby, this wig is so full from top to bottom. As you can see, baby, I don't even have to say, I know y'all see that. This is a custom blend, you're not gonna find this anywhere else. I mean, this looks like a rich bitch who stepped out of the salon, baby. That's why she's called luxury. <sighs> 
I honestly have no more words to describe it. I mean, it truly just encapsulates luxury and exactly what wig shirts is all about. It's a custom feel good wig that can be worn by anybody. It's perfection. I think I've yapped on enough about my babies. Was it really a battle? Was there really any competition? The wig shirts wig knocks the other wigs out of the ballpark. I want to reiterate all the other wigs I've shown are not horrible options. I mean, the first two kind of are. But you can honestly make anything work when it comes to drag styling. When I created these wigs for Wigstress, I wanted them to be the ultimate synthetic wig. I wanted it to be the ultimate luxury wig period. You're not going to find this in the market, especially when it comes to synthetic wigs. If you want the best of the best, if you want to invest in your craft, if you want to be unclockable, if you want to be that girl, if you want to be unique, if you want to feel luxurious, you're going to get a Wigstress <sighs> wig. Now clock that tea. I want to give a special shout out to each and every one of you who made it to this point of the video. I know today's video was so out of the ordinary for my normal content, but I had to come on here and share this special moment with y'all. Baby, I put everything into this, I guess, company, which is kind of crazy to say. I'm thankful to my team who's made this possible. You have no idea how many people have put so much love and time into this, and I'm manifesting that wig shirts is going to take over the entire wig wearing world. Go right now, if you have some coins in your pocket, wigshirts.com. W-I-G-S-T-R-E-S-S dot -S com. Go check us out. We have so many beautiful wigs available. And also for my drag queens out there, we are going to have weekly style wigs up as long as there's wigs available. Go check it out right now. Check out our stock. We have our beautiful unstyled signature wigs and we'll have a few ready-made styled wigs. Don't forget to continue tuning in each and every Monday because every Monday is Mistress Mondays. I know this video was supposed to be on Thursday, but listen, this next coming week, Every Monday, Mistress Mondays, and every other Thursday of the month, I'm gonna be posting. I'm gonna be having some sickening videos coming out. Be on the lookout for all my content. Follow me across all social media platforms. I love y'all so, so, so much. I will see y'all Monday. We're gonna cut the f up. Go out there, shop Wigstress. I'm gonna go get me a cocktail and turn the f up. Bye.